And this is why I love social media, y'all. You can only fake the funk for so long. Word on the street is the Bronx doesn't even fuck with this one. You can't come back to your hood, huh? <laughs> what Dirk say? <laughs> First off, you and your house in a bonnet and a 4XT talking about somebody that got more money than you. Go clean your motherfucking glasses instead of worrying about what Jennifer Lopez doing. I already see. I already see. Today gonna be... <laughs> like, she's over here trying to rep her set so f***ing hard, and they don't even claim you like that. Like, and Jenny, like, she was obviously more popping back in the early 2000s. Now social media is out, and everybody's clocking her tea. They don't even f*** with you over there. And, like, people are telling stories have, have that have met her and had encounters and saying that she is a nasty-ass woman. Because I'm thinking, I'm sitting here, you know, sometimes I love the artists and creatives and people who have had their time and are able to just sit back and enjoy the fruits of their labor. But this one right here coming out with this whole whack ass documentary going on a tour. What like she's to me and I'm not trying to sound like a hater, but with all this shit coming out with Diddy. I know she knows something, and that just makes me look at her in a different way. But who are you? Who are you? People be feeling as though they more important than they actually are. I could see from the reflection in your glasses that you got roaches in your house. Say you don't got roaches. Tell me when you turn the light off and you go in your room and you come back in your kitchen and turn your light back on, the roaches don't be, oh, sh she come back. But anyways, she is like boosting herself going on tour it's like you don't your hits aren't even your hits do you have hits <laughs> and we've been saying this shit. and she's over here acting like she's like michael jackson's level that whack has a video of her sitting on that bench this is how my hair was when i was on the bronx <laughs> just i'm like and she really looks at this shit and says that's the one. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's what's going to get their attention. <laughs> Everyone's just dogging on her, dude. Take the bonnet off. Let's have a real conversation. Bronx ain't f***ing with Jello. I guarantee you the weave under that bonnet ain't f***ing with The woman want to show love to the hood. Let her show love to the place where she from. I hate this mentality that once you make it out of a certain situation, you got to come back and save it don't matter what you do for people. Once you decide to set a boundary, now you become fake. Now you become the person who everybody hates on because you don't put on for your city. Uh, you, uh, you speak English? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't speak Spanish. Yeah, me neither. You're really beautiful. I know I'm not like in the best dress right now. Uh -huh. It just came from the gym, kind of. Okay. And you're really beautiful. Yeah. I was wondering, I would love to marry you or something like that. That's mm. so, I'm new here. Okay. I'm looking for, like, a wife or something. You look really young. You look uh, like you're you like so? 23. You know, you're quite close, but what is your name? <laughs> Amber. Amber? Oh my. I would love to, oh my god, I would just love to make you my wife. Uh, all right, you see, you see, fellas. Now, I ain't no relationship guru, but he's doing too much. When you start talking to a young lady, this is your first time meeting, you in and out. Hey, you're gorgeous. I would love to marry you. She, you get her laughing. You know what? I got some place to be, but can I have your number? Maybe we can go out to dinner sometimes. That's it. What? Wait, where are you from? You look foreign. Are you foreign? I'm Indonesian. Oh, my God. I always wanted to go there. <laughs> Like, she, put, put your, look, uh, look, too much touchy. He tried to grab her hand. You are, you are funny. You're, you're funny. <laughs> you're cute. Oh Why are you so beautiful? Funny Why are you so... He's friend, doing too much. Huh? Yeah. Uh, you... I ain't gonna lie. Now, I ain't not know they was built like that in Asia. You seen her side profile? <laughs> that side view look crazy. But, fellas, man, you try to pick a young lady up in and out like a thief in the night. First impression is everything. And if you try to... Keep the conversation going for too long. Yeah. You're shooting yourself in the foot. Black men do not fight hard enough to be a parent in their children's lives. They Just a don't. question. They Just do a not. question. Just a question. Just a, wait, I'm wait, wait. You. I'm agreeing with you. But just a question, though. Why do we have Why to fight? Why is it that, they that have to these fight. men have to fight? Yes. The fact that they have to fight is one thing. The fact that they're not fighting enough is another thing. So both things are correct. So no. I'm agreeing with you. 
these no. men are not fighting enough for their child. That's the thing, right? But why is it that virtually every man has to fight to see their child? I want to hear her answer. Why are you complaining about a problem that you created for yourself? I don't want to hear it. You created that problem. Yes. So now you're like, oh, I have to fight my way out of my own problems? Oh, I'm sorry. Are we not all adults? I agree. Is, is life not always mm -hmm. what we want it to be? Yeah. You leave her to fight for herself, but you're like, oh, I ain't going to fight for my kid. Why well, I got to fight for my kid? Over a problem that you created yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, we could have all just been like, you know what? I'm, I'm good on the kids. Let me wrap it up. Let me at least get married first. Let me at least try to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Black men do not fight hard. Why do we have to fight to be in our kids' lives? Why do we have to fight? Why is it when the relationship over, we, we can't just be adults about the situation? Huh? Why you can't we be adults? Why do we have to fight? First off, I want to say something. <clears throat> I want to say something. I never realized how beautiful she was. I reacted to a video where she was talking about her man is not allowed to have social media. I was offended. It was the, the tone she had, I was just offended. And now I'm looking at this video, she is gorgeous. But the things that come out of her mouth is crazy. I don't know how many male friends she have that have been in a situation where because them and a young lady are no longer together, the young lady decides to make it hard for this man to be a parent. I hate the fact that if I want to be a father and you decide to be in your feelings, the state is going to be on your side. Even though they know, they know that you're being difficult. I'm a mom of 16. Of course everybody think I got multiple daddies. I'm a mom of 16. Of course y'all specialize in mindfulness, meditation, yoga, and all that good shit. How else am I going to stay sane? Bro, hold on. 16? She got 16 kids. Am I tripping? Sixteen kids is insane, bro. It's Eva. Nah, it ain't Eva. That mean that coochie good. That mean boy get in there and he say, you know what? I'ma just shoot the club up. I'm a mom of 16. Of course, I got multiple streams of income. I'm a mom of 16. Of course, when I could, I'm thinking for a whole goddamn school, classroom, cafeteria. I'm a mom of 16. Of course, I got a massive house in there. Mm, they got a lake, too? They got a lake, too. Hey. I love to see when people are winning, man. Especially my black people. I, I love to see when my black people are winning. They have a, a huge house, huge land with a lake on it. I mean, they're going to need that with 16 kids. But, God, listen, I don't mean to talk about y'all mama like that, but she still look good. She still look good. To have 16 kids, maybe it's like a... a, a a play on words. Maybe some of them adopted. Because if all of them came from that coochie. <laughs> if all of them came. From, look. If all of them came from the same place. My boy. My boy. Shout out to you my boy. 